Let me show you how I created the Trippy Jacket lens for Snapchat. You will see how I use the different items in the Lens Studio project. The most visible element is the Jacket VFX, emitting heart-shaped particles from the jacket's surface. I will turn this effect off for now and we will come back and check it later. The jacket and bodysuit are both children of the same body tracking element, so their motion is automatically synced. I imported the jacket mesh already rigged to a human skeleton, and I matched the bone hierarchy to the body tracking component. The bodysuit is based on the built-in full body 3D mesh with a custom opacity mask. Another full body 3D mesh is responsible for keeping the hands visible. The pink tiara is a cylinder mesh with a default glass material. The crown of hearts VFX object is very similar to the jacket VFX, with a few changes. Just for now, I will hide everything that's connected to the head. Let's go back and see how I made the different parts. The main reason I added the dark bodysuit was to mute the user's own clothing and to enhance the jacket's effect. The full body mesh settings allow me to hide the head and hands, but I also wanted to hide the arms and shoes, so I needed to create a custom opacity mask. I downloaded the 3D body mesh FBX file from the Lens Studio website, and I imported it into Substance Painter. To enable the opacity channel, I changed the material type to PBR Metal Roughness with Alpha Blending. But it is not enough to add a mask to the material layer. I added another fill layer at the bottom where I zeroed out the overall material opacity channel. Back in the scene, I used the PBR material and added the opacity map. The jacket's mesh is rigged to a skeleton like it was a 3D character. To learn this technique, you can follow the 3D body template in Lens Studio and the online documentation. I imported the full body mesh from the sample FBX into Marvelous Designer as an avatar. Then I dressed it up with a cool jacket. I love the cloth simulation in Marvelous Designer. It is so satisfying. I positioned the jacket mesh with the arms halfway down. This will prevent some shoulder mesh stretching. I did my retopology in Topogun and created a low poly version of the jacket. In ZBrush, I fixed the mesh a little and applied UV coordinates. In 3D Studio Max, I rigged the jacket to the human skeleton from the same FBX file. The skeleton has to be in T-pose when exporting to Lens Studio. I created the swirly colorful jacket material from an iStock image. And I added dark fabric edges to better visually define the shape of the jacket. The jacket and bodysuit are hiding the person's hands. And of course we want to be able to see them. I duplicated the full body mesh object and changed the settings to keep only the two hands visible. I applied the object segmentation texture as a material, and now we can see the hands. The VFX graph that I used for the jacket is based on the VFX template that comes with Lens Studio 4. I used the spawn on mesh example and customized it for my jacket. In the mesh encoder script, I defined the jacket as the VFX emitter mesh. In the Spawn on Mesh VFX script, I selected the jacket base color bitmap. This is also where I will add the heart image after defining the input in the graph. I opened the VFX graph, and in the first section, Spawn Particle, I changed the spawn rate and the particle lifetime. In the second section, Update Particle, I adjusted the size and timing. And I added a gravity subgraph to make the particles fall like leaves from a tree. In the third section, output, the example particles already inherit their unique colors from the texture map where they were spawned from. To change the particles to a heart shape, I added 
in the graph, a 2D texture input node, and a mixer node. I mixed the heart-shaped alpha channel from the PNG with the RGB channels coming from the particle. The jacket looks very nice, and the crown really makes the style complete. Both the glass tiara and VFX are connected to the same head binding object in the scene. I used the head mesh with a graph occluder material to keep the person's face in front of the visual effects. I prepared an icon in Photoshop and uploaded a preview video. The lens works well in both front and back cameras. Before publishing, I compressed the texture maps. The lens size is less than one megabyte, which is awesome. Okay, thanks for watching. Show me that you care and press the like button now.